calling me Twitter. ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Cuéntenme. Good evening, teacher. Hoy sí me escucha. Hoy sí, sí la escucho. Okay. Bueno. No, sí la escucho, claro. La escucho fuerte y claro. Es que yo no escuchaba nada, por eso le preguntaba, porque no, no, ah. me, no, no me caía nada. Yo la veía que se movía, pero no, 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 no escuchaba sí. nada. Sí, pero ya, ya nos escuchamos clarito las dos. Oh, guay, qué bien. Hello, Elizabeth. Máximo, Maritza, ¿me escuchan? ¿Me escuchan claro? Ay, hi, hi, dice. Okay. Hello. I was checking on... I was... Ay, oh my God. Y don't worry, don't worry. Ni se esfuerce. Cualquier cosa ahí en el chat me lo pone. Ok. ¿Qué pasó? No llegó el mal. Alergia. Oh, my God. Well, but don't worry, don't worry. Ni se fuerce. Se debería poner algo ahí para cubrirse el pechito por el frío. Uh -huh. Ok, se me salió la madre de familia que llevo dentro. <laughs> Hay que cubrirnos el pechito. <laughs> ok, I was checking on the group and I can see that you have problems with, with an exercise. ¿Con qué ejercicio tenían problemas? Quiero ver quién era la que tenía problemas con el ejercicio. En el grupo. Are you from Japanese? Says. No, are you Japanese? Are you Japanese? Porque no. La... Está hablando sobre el examen. No. Eh, sí, yo creo sí. que están haciendo ahí los ejercicios y el problema es que las nacionalidades, por ejemplo, en ese caso de Japanese, este, uh -huh. no lleva... No lleva from. Are you Japanese? Nada más. No se puede poner sí. are you from Japanese. Y es Japanese con J mayúscula, J mayúscula, PA, porque ahí le han puesto Japanese. Ese era el detalle. Ajá. Que lo, lo ponía con minúscula, por eso no me lo aceptaba. Exactly, la edad. Hey, are you Japanese? Exactly like that. And they say, lo intentaré de nuevo, copy paste. They say, are you Jap Japoneses? They say, no, Juancito. Japoneses, no, because that's Spanish. But, and I think that was the problem. Well, my dear students, I hope you had the opportunity to work in the platform and to finish with the exams, right? I hope you finish with, with the midterm exams. Tuvieron la oportunidad de hacer los, los exámenes y terminar la, los midterm. Sí. Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. So we are going to go in quick check the, the evaluations to see that all of you finished. And we are going to continue with section number four. Section number four is going to be about food. Right, section number four is going to be about food. And we are going to be talking about different fruits, vegetables, the things that you like, the things that you uh, didn't like. What's it like? Es el mismo del módulo uno. Yeah, that, that's a review test, I guess. Yo creo que es un examen de revisión. Okay, let's check. Let's check. Entonces habría otro examen aparte de ese. Ahorita voy, a, es ahorita voy a entrar a revisar la plataforma para que lo veamos todos. Ok. okay. Let me see. Okay. I have here. Let me see this one. Ok. These are the exams. Yo lo terminé el viernes, pero no a las nueve de la mañana, sino que lo terminé 
hasta las 10 de la noche, 11 de la noche, porque ese es mi trabajo, mis compañeros han estado enfermos Ay. y nos ha tocado cubrirlo. Ay, fue una semana yeah. súper, súper dura. Pero sí, ya lo terminé, lo terminé el viernes. Me imagino. La noche. Sí, en ese caso, siempre el recordatorio se los envían con una hora específica porque es a la hora que ellos más o menos sí. entran a revisar, pero sí, con que usted los termine en el día especificado es, es, este, es todavía aceptable. La cosa es que siempre nos mantengamos trabajando y eso es pues, de admirable, todos ustedes lo hacen siempre. Ok, um, in this case, um, Elizabeth, these are the exams. The first one was a listening, right? In the listening, we had the description of different houses. Eh, ¿Completamos este que era de la descripción de las casas? No, Miss, a mí ese no me sale. Ok, yo creo que entonces cuando entramos al, al, a la sección le tiene que salir el nombre del curso. Y creo que ahí voy a entrar yo a los cursos que yo tengo. Tiene que decir inglés principiante módulo 2. Miss, es que yo estoy hablando del examen final. Ah, permítame entonces. Usted ya, se, o sea, que usted ya terminó toda la plataforma. Sí, ya. Ah, ya. por eso, hombre, por eso. Ok, I can I skate very well. And the final exam. And you were right here. Let me see. It was number one, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh. this one. The, they say like, no, my first language is in Spanish, it's Portuguese. Is it this one? Yes, yes. yeah. And yes. this one is, yes, I am Japanese. I am from Tokyo, right? Are you Japanese? It's the first question, it's the question here. So in this one, you have to remember that in this case, the question is, are you, and it says Japanese, and the question mark. And that was the, the evaluation. But I was just checking on the different sections. Yes, that one is, is like this. And let me see here. On the different sections, I was just checking on the midterm that uh, we had. Uh, I remember that the first one was a listening about different houses. And I don't know if you remember, right? There are it says no, two, or three. We are going to go over uh, these questions. Do you remember the answer for the first one? ¿Se recuerdan cuál era la respuesta de la primera, del primer ejercicio? Yes or no? If not, we're going to go and listen. We're going yes. to listen to the three. three. Yes, teacher. Three. Yes. Aha, go um, ahead. So what is it, Maximo? Three. Three. Uh, so in this case, is there are three bedrooms. There are some chairs in the? Living room. Living room. Living room. Julia needs a? Microwave oven. A microwave oven for the kitchen, right? And in this case, we're just going to check on the listening for one time so we can be sure about it. One, I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two. Yeah, I really love the house, but I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. So it was perfect, right? The, there are three bedrooms, there are some chairs in the living room, and for sure she needs a microwave oven. In this one, we're going to work a little bit just to review. Uh, this is what we did on the previous class, right? 
your apartment building an elevator. What type of sentence do you use in this case? If we have your apartment building, that it's an object, it, and an elevator. What is the, uh, the specific words that you need for you to complete this question? Does have. Does and have, because you have your apartment building, in this case is it, right? Does your apartment building have an elevator? Y como ya usamos el auxiliary have, ya usamos el auxiliary does, sorry, usamos normalmente have. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. does. Porque acabamos de hacer una pregunta con does your apartment building? The answer is yes, it does. The next one, the bedrooms, plural, closets. Do have. Do and have, because the bedrooms, it's a plural word. Do the bedrooms have closets? It's pretty good. The next one, no, they don't. do. No, they don't because don't. you have do. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Exactly. Sorry. So you say don't. No, they don't, right? That was the next one. And it was uh, kind of easy. Let's go with the next one. In this case, we have to create the sentences, right? And it says, there, there isn't a mirror in the bedroom. How can you make that sentence? Number one. There isn't. There isn't. A mirror in the bedroom. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. For number two, Heidi, what sentence did you create? And there are no pictures in the hall. There are no pictures in the hall. Perfect job. Number three, it's going to be for Cynthia. Can you help me, Cynthia? I have to order. Yes, you have to organize the sentence with the words that you have there. There aren't there aren't uh-huh it's okay there aren't okay there aren't any curtains in the dining room perfect job there aren't any curtains in the dining room excellent job let's go with the next one in the next evaluation you have to complete the sentence with the correct profession. In this one, Iris, what is the correct profession for this sentence? Ah, hola, teacher. Y ese que no, ahorita me acabo de conectar porque he tenido problemas con el inter. Oh, don't worry, eh, don't worry. Uh, okay, estamos haciendo un review de todo lo que hicieron en el examen midterm y estamos completando las, las, los ejercicios para que todos estemos claros que los comprendimos. Entonces aquí, para completar este, creo que se nos desconectó, Iris, que se nos hizo. Ah, no, ahí está, ya la vi. Eh, ¿Cuál es la profesión que nos complementa esta oración? Tenemos nurse, Pilot is salesperson. A works in a hospital. Oh, nurse. Que, que uh -huh. no, no, solo, solo la puedo ver a usted, no puedo ver nada más. No oh. sé por qué tengo problemas de conexión. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So let me see. I am going to stop sharing and to share again. Vamos a compartir de nuevo, tal vez ahí se le arregla. Okay. Thank you. Me avisa si puede ver la pantalla. Sí, hoy sí. Okay. okay. A nurse, a pilot, or a salesperson? Which one works in the hospital? Uh, nurse. The nurse. Very good. Elizabeth talks to people at the hotel. Which one? Reception. Re, reception. <laughs> Ay, se me olvida, mi Elizabeth, que está malita su garganta. Me voy a poner aquí un recordatorio. But the reception is, thank you very much. Yes. Tirsa, Tirsa. No lo vuelvo a hacer, I promise. Tirsa, a judge, a musician, or a police officer sits all day. A judge, right? Good, a judge. And that's it for that evaluation. 
And for the next one, you have to create questions for the conversation. In this one, let me see. I am going to ask Esmeralda, can you help me with the correct question for this answer? Is I work at a restaurant. What is the question? Where do you work? Where do you work? Very good. Maritza, he's a firefighter. What is the question? He's a firefighter. Maritza, can you help me? Or Heidi, please. Yes. What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? Perfect. Thank you very much. Maximo, help me with the next one. They hate their jobs. How do they like their jobs? How do they like their jobs? Very good job. Very good job. And we finish with the next one, we complete the conversations. Well, it says, for everybody and the one who needs, to, uh, who wants to answer, a singer job. How can you complete that sentence? Has an exciting. A singer has an exciting job because a singer is she, right? A singer, she, so you need to use has. The next one, I disagree. I think a singer's job is boring. It's boring. boring, right? It's boring, right? Because it says that she has an exciting job. It's like, I disagree. So it's the opposite. I think it's boring. A flight attendant, a flight attendant, how can you complete that one? Has a, has a stressful, stressful. Has a stressful job. And I agree. It. I agree. It. Is a stressful. It is a stressful. A cashier's job. Is easy. It's easy. Well, yes, I disagree. It says a cashier, a cashier, he has a difficult, has a difficult job. Very, very, very good. So this was basically the evaluations that we had for the midterm uh, period. And I hope you had the opportunity to complete it. I am going to go and share the presentation for the day. Let me know if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes. Can you see the PowerPoint? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So we're going to go and work today with food and drinks right? It's a very delicious topic. And I want to start this uh, topic, this section, by asking everybody, do you like to eat? Like or dislike? Do you like to eat? Like. <laughs> For sure, right? Like. We, like to eat. <laughs> we like to eat. Do you like to cook? Like or dislike? I don't like. <laughs> I don't like to cook. Do you like to wash the dishes? I really don't like. <laughs> I so, really, so. I really so, hate. So, I really hate that. I think I love to cook. I love to cook, but I hate to wash the dishes. Gosh, I don't like it. Yeah, my poor husband has to wash. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I love cooking and everything and I am good but I hate to wash the dishes that's the part that I don't like so what is your favorite food 
that food that you can have for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, and you love it. What is your favorite food? Pupusas. Pupusas, says Juan. So Juan puede tener las de desayuno, almuerzo, cena, snack, entre mes, con cafecito, everything. Definitivamente lo mismo. <laughs> pupusas. Uh, Elizabeth and Juan say pupusas. Let's see. Sí, también pupusas. <laughs> it is pupusas, they say. Mr. Maximo? Sweet bread. Sweet bread. Sweet bread is your favorite. So you can have it every day, everywhere, all the time. Sweet bread. Any specific sweet bread? Because I love quesadilla. And I, I don't know if you like quesadilla, but that's my favorite. Semita. Semita. Big or small? Big. Big. <laughs> the big semita. Okay, semita, they say. What about you, Tirsa? What is your favorite food? Mm, pizza. Pizza. So Tirsa can have pizza for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. Con mm. café, con soda. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see. Heidi, what is your favorite food? Can mm, se dice comida china? Chinese food. Chinese food. Chinese food. I, I love Chinese food. Yes, that's very delicious. But I think pupusas are like in, in another level for, for this one. Let's see. Mr. I, I ask Maximo, I ask Juan. Gabriela, what is your favorite food? Hello, my favorite food is pupusas. Pupusas. So, so you are in the team for Juan and Elizabeth and Teacher Nati. <laughs> we love yes. pupusas. Now my question is, can you prepare pupusas? No. No, they say. So, so. So, so. so. <laughs> yeah, I, I can prepare pupusas. Yes. We are the pupusas team, they say. <laughs> yes, we are the pupusas team. Yeah, no I, can... Rigo en vez de pupusa, pero es va. <laughs> yeah, I can prefer pupusas. So I think we can have a little restaurant there. So we're going to work a little bit on this. We're going to practice today about food and about the things that we love to eat and the things that we like a little bit, but we enjoy, right? Remember our agreements, practice your English, ask for help if you need, keep your camera on, attend your sessions, participate, keep a cooperative attitude, and for sure, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group, right? I always love to remind you about the agreements because they are useful, right? We really use them in every single class. So we review the previous class and we also reviewed the midterm evaluations. Uh, that's what we did in at the beginning of this class. So I ask you, can you cook? And you tell me, yeah, mm, a little bit. Yes, no, no, no. What is your favorite restaurant? The one that you say, oh, that's my top favorite. What is your favorite restaurant? You can send me the my answer. Is pollo campero. Okay, chicken campero. Favorite Your favorite restaurant, yeah. right? Debemos declarar que ninguno nos está pagando nada por estos comerciales. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Campero restaurant. Propaganda gratis. Yeah, yeah. They are not paying anything for this. So, Heidi, any Chinese food restaurant is your favorite. <laughs> For the pupusas, we have we have difficulties, right? Because I buy a restaurant chinos. That they are <laughs> very China town, que es muy buena la comida, verdad? El imperio Cabal, Celeste, también es bien rica. Roy Lee. Muy buena, oh, muy yeah. buena comida. Very good. <laughs> My God, if si no se andaron antes de venir a la clase, ahorita van a estar sufriendo. <laughs> Yo ya tengo hambre. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Teacher Nati's pupuseria. It's very good. <laughs> you can go and, and, and try it. Good. So, eh, food. When we talk about food, ooh, we have a lot of things to mention. We have different categories of food and we have different sections 
on which we need to consider the different types of food that we have. In this part, I present you a little bit of the food pyramid, right? That includes fats, oils, sugar, proteins, dairy. Dairy products are the ones that are derived from milk, right? Or from, um, yeah, from, from milk products, right? Yogurt, milk, cheese, etc. right? When talking about cheese, ee, you can have capita duro blando, duro viejo con chile, con no sé qué. But that's another thing that we have here in El Salvador. In the United States, is cheese. Cheese in general. So you say yogurt, milk, and you have in the, in the section of fats, oils, and sugars that are like grasas, aceites, y azúcares, we have cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips, right? We also have here in this part of the proteins, we have fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, and beef, right? Beef is carne de res, that is beef. And for sure fish, it's pescado, or beans, los más comunes en El Salvador, desayuno, almuerzo, cena, snack, si no hay frijoles, no hay comida. Porque solo el huevo es así como, ay, no, no le hay. <laughs> you need the beans there. The chicken, right, eggs and beef. And for sure, in the other category, we have fruits and vegetables. We have bananas, oranges, strawberries, apples, and mangoes, right? Mangoes are very popular right now. We have broccoli, carrots, lettuce, Tomatoes, it's not tomatoes, okay, por favor, en el nombre de Dios ahí, no digan tomatoes ni potatoes, say tomatoes and potatoes, right, tomatoes and potatoes, broccoli, eh, carrot, and lettuce, and in here we have the category for eh, the grains, and in the grains we have bread, cereal, crackers, crackers, son galletas saladas, rice, arroz, and we have noodles and pasta, right? These are the different uh, categories that we have in the food pyramid. Noodles are fideos, fideos. And pasta in general, right? Pasta is in general, right? All the different types of pasta. And so aquí no hay conchitas, no hay cojitos, todo en general. Everything, noodles. it's, uh, well, uh, noodles are fideos. Mm -hmm. Pasta es lo que tenemos en general, ¿verdad? Ya cada uno debe tener su nombre específico, ¿verdad? pero ya tenemos que nos hay cada uno. Oh, so, right. Referimos a todo en general es pasta. Right? Pasta. And in here, as I really love to walk the extra mile when we talk about learning, I have something that I am going to send it to you later on. Okay? I have something here that it's a little bit of vocabulary about food, right? Yo sé que cuando hablamos de comida tenemos una variedad de cosas Ooh, that we can continue talking about food all the night. So let me just make this one a little bit bigger and we're going to go here. According to the fruits, right? Eh, le voy a enviar el documento, si no se preocupen de copiarlo todo, se lo voy a enviar a, a, a cada uno de ustedes ahí por WhatsApp. So we have here, in the, in the fruits, we also have a lot of variety, right? We have peaches that are, what is the meaning of peaches? Peaches, peach. No, ese es, no. Durazno, 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 melocotón, melocotones, right? Melocotones. Peach is melocotón. Quinces. Do you know what quinces are? And I know that this one, it's not very common. Quinces are membrillos. What's that? <laughs> membrillo. No sé si se han fijado, pero de repente con el membrillo hacen una fruta que es bien tradicional en las fiestas patronales. O en las fiestas así de las localidades donde llevan los dulces típicos. Son unos tarritos con una como jalea rojita. Tienen una paletita. No sé si los han visto, los han comprado alguna vez en su vida. Pero los membrillos. I'm going to look for a picture of a membrillo. 
for you to see it. It's a fruit. It's a fruit. And it is this one. And they make, I am going to show it to you. They make different types of jelly with this one, right? These ones are the membrillos. So there you have it for you to know them. It's like, I didn't know. Nectarines are very similar to apricots, right? They are very similar. Son parecidas a los duranos. Se llaman nectarina. They are very nice. Cherries, you know what cherries are, right? Cerezas. Apricots, duranos. Plums. Plums are very good if you have problems with the stomach and going to the restroom. Ciruelas. <laughs> they are very good for that. Figs. Do you know what figs are? Any idea? Eagles. Eagles. Very good. Eagles. Orange. It's not a, right? <laughs> you know what an orange is. Tangerine is very similar to the orange, but it's smaller and sweeter. Tangerine is mandarina. Mandarina. Lemon, it's lemon, right? You know, lemon. Golden apple are the yellow apples, the ones that are yellow. Mango, it's mango, right? You know what mangoes are. Lychee, it's very popular in El Salvador, right? Lichas, you know them, right? Las lichas, las rojitas con pelo, que parecen COVID. <laughs> Lichi. <laughs> mamey, mamey is the same, right? Mamel, mamey, tamarind is the same. Apple, the manzanas, right? It's not the foam. <laughs> Apple is manzana. Avocado, avocado. It's aguacate. Aguacate. It's not avocado, okay? It's avocado. Banana. Banana is the same. Banana. Blueberry and blackberry are... Um, how do you call this in Spanish? I don't remember the name in Spanish. Oh my God. <laughs> Blueberries and blackberries are. Moras. Moras. <laughs> Azules y negras. Sorry. <laughs> Carrot. Zanahoria. Wave. Guayaba. Grapes. What are grapes? Uvas. 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 Kiwi, kiwi, right? Lime, lima. Cantaloupe and melon are the same thing. Cantaloupe and melon. Melon, the two of them. Cantaloupe, it's a complicated name, and melon is the normal name. Papaya, it's papaya, right? Algunos la odian, otros la aman. Yeah. I, I love papaya. I don't know you. Pear, right? Pear. Pineapple. Piña, strawberry, fresa. And it's not a strong berry, okay? A strong berry? No, a strawberry. Strawberry. Tomato. Cashew. Do you know what cashew is? Semilla tamarindo. De, de, de marañón. Ah, but cashew is in general the fruit, right? Marañón. The cashew seed, it's semilla de marañón. Cashew seed. And here we have cashew seed, it's the top, right? Cashew, it's the fruit, marañón. The next one, we have mom beans. Do you know what mom beans are? No idea? They are very good. The Corona ones are very delicious. Cocotes. 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 They are my favorite fruit in the whole world. Yeah. Cocotes. Yeah. Cocotes. Mom beans are cocotes. Lo favorito de, de la teacher. Watermelon. Sandia. Coconut. Right? Grapefruit. Do you know what grapefruit is? Any idea? Citrico. Grapefruit. 
Ah, tic tac, tic tac, tic tac. Vamos a hacer un concurso aquí de quién lo encuentra primero. Grapefruit. What is it? Like a uh, orange. It's similar to an orange. But what is the name in Spanish? Lima. Uh -huh. No. Toronja. 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 That it's a grapefruit. It's toronja. Now, on the vegetables, we have another world, right? We have tomato, potato, watercress. Do you know what watercress is? It is very common in panes rellenos. Algunos lo odian, otros lo aman. Yo los odio, los quito ahí. Berro. Berro. <laughs> Berros. Yeah. Hay, hay algunos lugares de panes rellenos que es como berro y un pedacito de pollo. <laughs> so that's water, watercress. Eh, mushroom, it's, eh, how to call this in Spanish? Hongos, right? Hongos. Carrot, zanahoria también es un vegetal, también es una fruta. Lettuce, lechuga. Cabbage, lechuga. repollo. Don't say red chicken, please. Cabbage is repollo, okay? Cabbage. Onion, cebolla. cebolla. Garlic, ajo. Pumpkin, ayote. Calabaza. Cal calabaza. calabaza. For us, it's ayote. In, in the United States, it's calabaza. Chili, it's the one that it's spicy, right? Chili. Green pepper and red pepper are pimientos. Pero chili es el que pica, right? Uh, Green pepper and red pepper are the ones that are for cooking, right? Broccoli, algunos lo aman, otros lo odian, right? Broccoli. Spinach, it's a spinaca, like Popeye, right? Spinach. Squash. Squash is pipián, right? Pipián. Asparagus, it's asparagus, right? Peas, guisantes. Beans, frijoles, right? Eggplant, what is eggplant? Frijoles. Eggplant. Oh, no. Eggplant. <laughs> berenjena. Eggplant. Eggplant is berenjena. Algunos la aman, otros la odian. Beet. Remolacha. Cucumber. Pepin. Radish, rábano, eh, celery, apio, parsley, perejil, right? So, and in here we go with the fast food, right? Huh? Our top one favorite. Hamburgers, you know what they are. Sandwich, hot dog. Let's continue here with the next one. I am going to go here with... Pizza, French fries. Do you know what French fries are? It's hamburgers, best friend. I love That's, it. Yeah, best my like my best choice when I have a hamburger. French fries, tacos. Right, tacos are tacos. Right, nachos, burritos, pancakes. They are considered fast food. In the case of the snacks. Snacks are the ones that you can eat between the meals, right? Like que se comen entre comidas, los bocadillos, right? So you have donuts, very famous in September, by the way. Cake, milkshake, tea, coffee, sweet bread, Maximo's favorite. Lollipop, que son paletas de dulce, right? Lollipop, popsicle, paletas heladas, okay? Popsicle. Ice cream, helado, right, in general. Soda, chocolates, yogurt, chips. Chips son todos esos churritos, boquitas, todos esos. Eh, I, I, there is a word for this in Spanish, in El Salvador. Ay, meneitos. <laughs> La gente dice los meneitos. Está todo tipo de churro. Meneitos. Lo oí una vez creo que en San Miguel o no sé. Pero saludos hasta San Miguel. Gelatin. Nuts, candies, 
Eh, these are snacks, right? Snacks. Popcorn and cookies as well. Popcorn and cookies. Meat and proteins. Entre las carnes y las proteínas, we have beans, frijoles, right? Fish, pescado, chicken. You know what chicken is. Eggs, beef, bacon. What is bacon? Tocino. Tocino, right? Ribs. Costillas. Costillas. Ham. Mon. Among sausages, salchichas, right? In the fats, oils, and sugars, we have honey, cream, milk, butter. Butter is mantequilla, right? Oil, aceite, candies, los dulces, and cheese. Eso está en la categoría de los azúcares. And in the grains, we have rice. We have rice, pasta, noodles, crackers, bread, right? These are the ones that we have here. The food procedures. Esos son verbos que podemos ocupar cuando hablamos de comida. Okay? Cuando hablamos de comida podemos ocupar ese tipo de verbos. Cut, cortar. Okay? Peel, como hacemos con la banana. Right? Pelar o con la fruta. Clean is when you, when you put some water and soap and everything. Right? Wash, when you clean everything. Right? Limpiar is clean. Wash is lavar, así como a profundidad, ¿verdad? como la lechuga y todo eso que se tiene que lavar muy bien. Mix, revolver. Slice, ¿cuál verbo sería este hablando de comida? Slice, when you make little lines, ¿cómo le diríamos a eso? Cortar en tiras. Ah, en tiras. En tiras, slice. Okay. Es como cuando vamos a hacer papas fritas. You make the slice. Buy, when you go to the supermarket, right? And you get the objects. You buy the things. Select, it's like when you buy uh, avocados, for example, or watermelon. But you have to knock it, like, to see if it's okay. You select. Bake, hornear. Oil, hervir. Prepare. Preparar, right? Fry, freír. Toast, tostar. Mash, como cuando hacemos puré de papa. You mash the potatoes, right? Machacar. The next one. Chop is cortar en pedacitos pequeños. Triturar, eso significa chop. Okay? Steer is sofreír. En great gratinar. En steer also is batir. Batir, batir. Steer. En great gratinar. Solo para un momento pasarlo ahí por, para freírlo. De ahí los últimos que tenemos es steam, que es cocer al vapor. Broil, that will be a, so, no, let me remember about broil, because I don't know. Asar, asar. Asar, asar. En grill, it's a la parrilla. Right, and those are the verbs that you can use with uh, the different procedures of food. And the last category that we have is seafood, that is comida del mar, right? Anchovies that are anchoas. Crab, como un cangrejo, right? Debo esponja, cangrejo. Lobster, langosta. Octopus. Pulpo. Pulpo. Oyster, ostras. Shelves, conchas. Snail, caracoles. Squid, calamares. Y shrimps, camarones. Okay. So those are the types of food that we have in the ocean. I am going to send this document to you so you can have it and you can continue practicing their the vocabulary. Así que no pueden decir, ay, solo unos tres de vocabulario aprendimos. We learned a lot of vocabulary today, right? Today was a day of vocabulary. A mí me gusta definitivamente no enseñar solo lo básico, así las cositas chiquititas. Me gusta que ustedes sepan de todo, pues. Uno nunca sabe cuando vamos a ir a cocinar a un restaurante. I need this, I need that, I need this and this, right? 
we never know. So I am going to share this document with all of you. I am going to send it to you at the end of the class. Okay, you are going to have it in your WhatsApp as soon as we finished. Okay, so going back to our presentation here, I'm going to go back here, right? Teníamos este poquito, pero yo quería ir más allá siempre. Here I have, I love, I like, I don't like, I hate, and do you like? I need you, please, now that we got a lot of vocabulary and everything, I need you to write on your notebook these five sentences. You are going to say, I love, for example, I love uh, watermelon. I like <coughs> chicken. I don't like pacaya. I hate uh, asparagus. And you are going to create one question for the teacher. Okay? Van a contestar las cuatro, depende de sus gustos. Y van a hacer una pregunta para mí. Okay? Do you like, you are going to say, teacher, do you like uh, hamburgers? Do you like chicken? Do you like bananas? Do you like grapes? Any question that you want to make. Okay? Do you like? Do you like? What? Do you like? And here you choose one of the parts of the vocabulary. Ya copiaron el inicio de las preguntas y les vuelvo a poner todo el vocabulario para que puedan escoger sus complementos. I love, I like, I don't like, I hate. Do you like? I don't like is like, no me gusta, pero me lo como. <laughs> Más o menos. But I hate is like, no, 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 no. no. And I have one that I'm going to send on the chat that it's very famous. And it is liver. Liver is hígado. You can have a chicken liver or beef liver. I don't know if you like it, right? No sé si le gusta. But you are going to have it there. I love, I like, I don't like, and I hate. Those are the four types of questions that of sentences. And one question. Me avisan cuando las tengan y las pueden ir compartiendo. Me gusta. Bananas. So you say, I love. I love. I like. Patatos. Pat Potatoes. Potatoes. Ahí se lo voy a dejar presentado para que puedan escoger. Remember the sentences. Is I love, I like, I don't like, I hate. And the question is, do you like? you complement the question. Me levanta la mano el que vaya terminando para poderle com para poderlo compartir. Okay. Let me know who is done with the sentences. Que no eran vacaciones. No Ready? Manita ahí arriba, la que lo tenga y lo puede compartir con todo. Esmeralda says, I love orange. Rosario, do you have it? 
No, no. Eh, teacher, pacaya, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? The same, pacaya, it's pacaya. Okay. Yeah. Nadie la quiere, ni le quisieron cambiar el nombre. <laughs> She's like, ew, I don't like it. Okay, Maximo, go ahead. I love beef. Uh -huh. I like watermelon. Good. I don't like pacaya. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hate flor de isote. Isote flower. Yeah, it's a national symbol. <laughs> Come on. Isote flower. Yeah. yeah, nadie. No se comen los torogoses, ¿verdad? Ni la bandera. Don't eat the national symbols, please. <laughs> it's what the flower is a national symbol. Good. Uh, what is the question for me? What do you like? Uh -huh, but tell me one thing. Do you like... And choose one thing. Si me puede decir, por ejemplo, do you like oranges? Do you like uh, papaya? Do you like grapes? Y ahí le contesto yo, si, si o no. Do you like... Is it a flower, teacher? No, I don't like it. I respect my symbols. <laughs> Nací el 15 de septiembre. No me podría comer los símbolos, padre. <laughs> Do you like beef? I like beef, yes. Well cooked. Do you like mm, eggplants? No, I hate eggplants. <laughs> Thank you, Maximo, for the questions. Very good job. Very good job. Gabriela, go ahead. Hello. Hello. I love sushi. I like pupusas. I don't like ice cream. I hate vegetable. Um, do you like sushi? I like sushi, but a little bit little bit it's not like one favorite thing but i like it it's it's good oh but okay. tell me you don't like ice cream no neither do i Ni yo. <laughs> no, no neither do I. <laughs> but the vegetables i like the vegetables but i don't like ice cream el helado no me gusta no. se me derrite se me o sea tan pronto lo agarro se me derrite and it's mm -hmm. like oh, and i hate that <laughs> so I a mí no me gusta porque lleva leche, entonces ah, no sé, no, right. me gusta más la nieve. Ok, no, that's, no that's good, that's good, that's uh -huh. fantastic. Okay. Encontré a alguien también que no le guste la edad. <laughs> fantastic, thank you, thank you Gabriela. Iris, questions. Uh, I love chicken, I uh -huh. like bananas, I don't like... What? You don't like squash, yeah. neither do I. Yeah. <laughs> I had. Uh, I hate. You say, I hate. I hate. Uh -huh. I had. Uh, okay. Noodles. Noodles? Noodles? Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> do you like uh, a squash? No, I don't really like squash. Uh, there there was like type of a squash I, I don't remember how but uh, there was like a type of a squash I don't remember that they make with cream I kind of like it right anyway I eat it but it's not my favorite <laughs> thank you thank you it is for your sentences they were very 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 good who's next <laughs> Maritza, are you ready? Sí. ¿Ya estamos listas, Maritza? Aún no, teacher. Ok. Esmeralda, are you ready? Yeah. Ok, go ahead. I love uh, orange. I love orange. Uh -huh. I love orange. I like hamburgers. I don't like chicken. I hate pizza. Do you like uh, do you like orange? <laughs> I love orange. It's my favorite. But you don't like you don't like uh, chicken. 
Uh, no, te gusta, no, te gusta el, ¿No te gusta el pollo? No, no. How do you survive in El Salvador? Si aquí el almuerzo <ríe> es pollo o carne. Solo con el, con el juguito del arroz. El juguito del pollo con el arroz. Ok. Yeah, that, that's curious. And, and the campero chicken? No. No. And the pizza? You don't like pizza either? No. Oh my God. En el pollo solo me como las papitas. <ríe> <laughs> they, are, they are very good. <laughs> okay, they, that's very, very good. I like orange. Yes, I really like orange. It's one of my favorite fruits. Right, very good. Thank you, Esmeralda. Thank you very much. Rosario, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. <clears throat> I love apple chicken. I like kiwi coffee. Kiwi coffee, kiwi, yes. oh, kiwi, kiwi and coffee, or no, kiwi, coffee? kiwi and coffee. Ah, yeah, y yeah. Me gusta eh, kiwi y coffee. Ah, okay, okay. Yo dije que eso no lo he probado. <laughs> uh -huh. eh, I don't like pacaya. I hate. I hate. No sé si no sé cómo se dice matasano. I don't even know what it is. Bueno, eh, matasano y shrimp. No sé si se dice para los camarones. Shrimps, yes, shrimps. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es el matasano? A ver, instruyame aquí es, en este momento. Es una, es una fruta, este, cuando está tierna es verde, ¿verdad? Pero cuando ya está madura es amarillita y es bien feo el sabor. Bueno, a mí no me gusta. I, I don't know. I am going to go and, and do my homework. Creo que tengo tarea hoy para irlo a buscar. <ríe> Yeah. Good. Ahí se, lo, ahí se lo voy a mandar yo. Yeah, please, please. Yeah, send it to me uh, because I don't know. Uh -huh. Do you like strawberry? I love strawberries. Yes, with cream and sugar. They are very delicious. They yes. are very, very good. I love strawberries, right? A veces hay que cometer canibalismo. Let's see. Let's go with Mr. Juan. Mr. Juan, ¿qué se nos hizo? Perdí a Juan. Ah, oh, perdí a Juan. Ok, let's go with, let me see, let me see, Tirsa. And then Heidi. Ok, I love cherries. Cherries. I like, mm -hmm. I like pizza. I don't like barley. <laughs> yeah. I have Pipian. You hate squash, squash. That's the name, squash. Okay. Do you like grapes? I love grapes. I love grapes. Mm -hmm. The green ones. I like the green ones. Okay. They are very, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Tirsa, let's go with Heidi. I love bacon. I like donuts, the chocolate. Chocolate donuts, good. Uh, chocolate donuts. I do not like peanuts. 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 I have onion. I hate. Onion. I hate onion. I hate onion. I do like eggplants. Creo que así se dice. Eggplant. Berenjena. Eggplant. I, I hate it. I don't like it. No. <laughs> Yeah, I love bacon. <laughs> That's very delicious. Do you like bacon? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bacon. Bacon es la mentira más deliciosa porque se ve como el montón, ¿verdad? Y lo fríe. Como Pero el algodón de tan rico que es. <laughs> It's very, very, very delicious. Thank you very much. Let's see, Cynthia. Go ahead, Cynthia. Okay. Um... I love Chinese food. Good. I like Mexican food. Good. I do not like, um, I don't know. I almost eat almost <laughs> everything. everything. Mm, I do not like, how do you say to wrong? Um, of the cake. Ah. The, the cover, the cover of the cake. I don't really know I how do to not, call it. 
Let, okay, let me I do not it. like the cover of, of the, the cake. cake. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I hate, how do you say, hígado? Liver. I hate liver and pacaya. Uh -huh. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> do you like um, Mexican food? I love Mexican food. <laughs> yeah. The birria, ta birria tacos are my favorite. Yes. <laughs> they are delicious. It, well, they say that turrón, turrón in English is nougat, but nougat is like turrones de dulce. But let me find the cobertura. Okay. I yes, the, the, the white. Uh -huh, the white one. I think it's I, the, I, cake, the, the cover of the cake, but I'm going to investigate. Si no, ahí se lo comparten el ratito. Voy a hacer una okay. investigación detallada. Thank you very much, Cynthia. Very good. Let me see who am I missing. ¿Qué me falta? Chin, chin, chin. Who's missing? ¿Qué me falta? Tres, dos, uno. Elizabeth, porque no puede hablar. No la voy a poner sí, a hablar. Sí, <laughs> Ajá. En el WhatsApp le mandé, bueno, en el privado le mandé las, la fruta que le di. Ok, I am going to keep it here. Let me see. Oh, yes, I have seen it. I'm going to show it for everybody. I'm going to forward it. Hey, thank you very much. Now I know what Matasano is. So I am going to share mine. I love, I love chicken soup. I like papaya. I don't like pacaya. I hate. I hate uh, isote flour. And students, do you like pupusas? Yes. Yes, yes, we do. Yes, we do. I love pupusas. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow we are going to continue working with countables and uncountables. Okay, así que lo voy a mandar a hacer un poquito de investigación. ¿Qué son los nombres contables y qué son los incontables? Para que lo traigamos el día de mañana para la clase, ¿ok? So, investigate about countables and uncountables. That is for tomorrow's class. The time is over for today. I'm going to send you the documents on the chat right now. Have a beautiful night, and I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Have a beautiful night, students. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Take care. <laughs>